Good morning, and welcome to Daily Morning Prayer. This is for Friday, September 11th. We are continuing out of Common Prayer, a liturgy for ordinary radicals. And this begins with a note. On this day in 1973, the democratically elected government of Salvador Allende was overthrown in Chile by a CIA-backed coup. On the same day in 2001, terrorists attacked the World Trade Center and the United States Pentagon killed 2,800 people. O Lord, let my soul rise up to meet you as the day rises to meet the sun. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee. Let us kneel before the Lord, our Maker. Our song for this morning is We Are Marching in the Light of God. 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 We are marching. We are marching. Who? We are marching in the light of God. We are marching. We are marching. Who? We are marching in the light of God. In God the Lord whose word I praise, in God I trust, and will not be afraid. Our psalm for this morning is Psalm 56, verses 3 through 7. Whenever I am afraid, I will put my trust in you. In God, whose word I praise, in God I trust, and I will not be afraid. For what can flesh do to me? All day long they damage my cause. Their only thought is to do to me evil. They band together, they lie in wait, they spy upon my footsteps, because they seek my life. Shall they escape despite their wickedness? O God, in your anger, cast down the peoples. In God the Lord, whose word I praise, in God I trust, and will not be afraid. Our New Testament reading continues out of Matthew chapter 6, verses 25 through 34. Jesus taught, Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the air. They neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not of more value than they? And can any of you, by worrying, add a single hour to your span of life? And why do you worry about clothing? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They neither toil nor spin. Yet I tell you, even Solomon in all his glory was not clothed like one of these. But if God so clothes the grass of the field, which is alive today and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, will he not much more clothe you, you of little faith? Therefore, do not worry, saying, What will we eat? What will we drink? What will we eat? What will we wear? For to the Gentiles who strive after these things. And indeed, your heavenly Father knows that you will need all these things. But strive first for the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. So do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will bring worries of its own. Today's trouble is enough for today. In God the word, Lord, whose word I praise, in God I trust and will not be afraid. Theophilus of Antioch, a second century bishop, wrote, Say to those that hate and curse you, you are our brothers. Gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. 
you who prayed from the cross for your Father to forgive those who were killing you, grant us the courage to forgive those who harm us in our families, in our communities, and in our world. Help us recognize our own need to seek the forgiveness of others. Amen. May the peace of the Lord Christ go with you wherever he may send you. May he guide you through the wilderness, protect you through the storm. May he bring you home rejoicing at the wonders he has shown you. May he bring you home rejoicing once again into our doors.